Hello and welcome to the Impulse M90 Quick Start Guide video. My name is Parker and I am the product manager for this product. Before we continue, please ensure that the Impulse M90 has been properly installed and you've configured the drive performance through the application. In this video, we're going to cover the controls and how to operate the Impulse M90. First, we need to get familiar with the M90 controller. This light bar here displays the M90 wheel battery. This LED here displays the controller battery. This is the power button. This light sensor here automatically adjusts the display brightness of the controller. We have the status LED and the drive profile LED. This is the drive profile button and the M90 horn. For more information or more details on the controller LEDs, please see the quick start guide document that can be found on the M90 webpage. The M90 wheels have two LED buttons that will be used during the calibration process as well as displaying whether the wheels are on and when they are charging. The charging port for the M90 can be found here and the free roll engagement switch is at the center of the M90. The free roll engagement switch can be rotated to engage or disengage the free roll. There are bumps along the side of the engagement switch. Pushing on the bumps will always engage the drive wheels, while pushing on the smooth side will disengage the drive wheels and enable free roll. Before driving the M90, make sure that the wheels are properly calibrated. To do so, rotate the engagement switch to engage the wheels. Spin the wheel until they are engaged. To initiate the calibration, remove the battery, hold either button on the wheel, and reinsert the battery. The light will turn orange, and during this process, you do not want to move or touch the wheelchair or the M90 wheels. Wait for the light to turn white, and then turn green. Once the LED lights turn green on the wheel, we can remove the battery and reinsert it. The M90 wheel will then beep. This process needs to be repeated on the other side of the chair, as well as remove both wheels, swap them, and repeat the process, meaning the calibration will be completed four times, twice for each wheel. To drive the M90, first we need to engage the wheels. To do this while seated in the chair, reach down and rotate the engagement switch by pushing on the raised bumps on the side. Once the engagement switch is in place, hold either the all-way toggle or speed controller toggle forward. The hubs will rotate and lock into place. Both wheels will give an audible and physical click once they are engaged. The status LED on the controller will turn from white to green and the profile LED will display either blue for speed controller or white for all-way toggle, depending on the drive mode you are in. You are now ready to begin operation. If the profile LED is blue, please refer to the speed controller operation video. If white, refer to the all-way toggle operation video. 